Who is also my friend? <laughs> Colleague ministers. Colleague members of parliament. I want the voters. The voters.
brothers and unite us. This commonwealth is called Uganda. Was created not by our forebears, but in Berlin. We had no choice to be Ugandans. But the independence we accepted this commonwealth. And you came to Uganda, and our difference is, is our strength. That's how empires survive. There is nobody called a Roman. Romans were Germans, Italians, Spanish, English. Egyptians, Jews, all those who broke the Roman Empire. In their diversity, they created a mighty empire. In our diversity, we should struggle to create a strong, united, and prosperous Uganda. No try, only felicity, makes greater contribution to the welfare of Uganda than the other tribes. We are all equal. No religion has got a monopoly of virtue and vice. Let's all come to God the way we are. Since God accepts us, let's use our religious differences to give glory to God and create prosperity for Uganda. Let's put Uganda first. Only then, only then can we probably woke up and, and say we are, are Ugandans. Let's, Let's emphasize what, what unites us. Let's, Let's emphasize what's, what's primary and, and disregard what's, what's secondary. Those, those faiths, those, those traditions, those beliefs that, that divide, divide us should, should be discarded. Let's, Let's emphasize what, what uplifts our welfare. Let's, Let's emphasize what, what puts us together and, and puts us on the march of, of progress. Culturally, we the Wajangori never used to eat fish. I don't know whether it was culture or because there was a robot to catch it from. There are no legs in Angori. Even if we wanted it, <laughs> where would we get it from? Now, when I grew up, I realized that was. A, back, a backward practice. And I, and I eat fish. And, and you can say I'm not small. That, that, I, eat, I eat fish, I eat chicken, I eat, I eat mutton, I eat, I eat eggs. Those are things we never used to eat. That belief and practice was not moving our society forward. I appeal to every Uganda to discard that which holds us backward, what is anachronistic, and promote and cross fertilize those virtues and practices that promote development and growth. 
Let's accept each other as we are. There is a song by Church of Uganda where they say, God, I pray to you. Take me as I am. And that's what I always tell God. The real reason is when I go to church. I tell him, you know, God, I am here, I'm your creation. When the time comes, just take me as I am. Just take me as I am, and uh, everything will be okay. Your grace. When I witnessed that problem, what happened on this day? I am sorry. I started questioning the wisdom of telling us that the leaders are anointed by God. I asked God. Surely God, who does you want? Are you the one who anointed a million souls? Couldn't you have done better for Uganda? Our countrymen, much as God anoints leaders, you also have a role to play. You have your vote. Be careful. Be very careful. Exercise your right to vote diligently, cautiously, aware of where you are going. Forget this excitement. excitement. You have, you have only one life. You don't, you don't have another chance. Every, Every single that day that goes by is a day, day gone and gone forever. And, and when they tell you happy, happy, happy New Year, that's, that's a step towards the grave. You don't, you don't have another chance. So don't squander your vote in for choosing a leader who will lead you to progress. We deserve better. We don't, we don't have to follow sweet nothings. You want to lead. It's not you have a handsome face or a beautiful dress. It's what are you going to do for us? When you get another interview, don't blame me. You have voted that interview into power. Just because you are excited. This is uh, as if he has never been to heaven when he has never been. I am scared. 
weekend. By we, Uganda is celebrating the days of Jandaran Jandar Mumu and not questioning whether it was worth it for him to die. Why? Why did he have to die? Why did he die and we went on with it mean as if nothing had happened? Was beaten, was shy. None to stand up and speak. None to stand up and speak. Don't, don't quarrel. There is, there is a difference between freedom of expression and royalty. This is the problem I have with some of my, my friends in the opposition. They say they are exercising the right to speak, but then they, they, they bring stones. They... So, so I say, freedom of expression is illegitimate and legal, but royalty is illegitimate and a crime. So, so choose. I encourage you, Ugandans, to speak. Nobody should gag you. I encourage you, Canadians, to speak, to exercise your right to freedom of expression, freedom of association. I, 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 I didn't acknowledge my friend, the president of the EPC. I'm sorry, Jimmy. We are, we are friends. No, I found him at Pambuzi Hotel in Zambia. He was very hard, but he was shocked. I was head of the Secret Service in Uganda. I asked him, I said, but Jimmy, who you are talking? You could be really useful in Uganda. And he said, sorry, sorry I, I, I can't come. Because I'm opposed to you. I told, I told him, let me tell you. That, that, that we are working with people who were shooting at us yesterday. For you, not then as you true. I threw the stone at the person military vehicle. We are working with people who are shooting at us. Then he told me he was on both side. I said, look at him. I'm also on my father's side. <laughs> Where, is Where is it written? In the laws of Uganda, the laws of the church, and, and the laws of God, that on both side cannot come to Uganda. I am very glad that Jimmy Akena has come back and is contributing to the rebuilding of this country. And he's my friend, faithful and just. That's, That's the way we should live on earth. Our life on earth is just, like I've always said, it's just an infinitesimal pause in eternity. Uganda was there without you, it's here with you. It will be here long after you are gone. Just make your contribution. Don't try it on Uganda. Just, Just make your contribution. That's, that's what we ask of you. To be a good Ugandan. And to be a good Ugandan, you must embrace every Ugandan, everybody who ascribes to Uganda. Whether he's from Soro, or Uraba, if he's not coming to wrestle our, our cows. In fact, I was telling somebody we should put these Angori cows between uh, Atori and, uh, and Karamoja because they don't walk. When the cows steal them, we shall cut them because they, they, those cows don't walk. You can't catch them. My lord. I'm glad you are here. I have, I have known, known the, Chief the Chief Justice from the time he was in CA. I commend him to you, the people of Atori. He is a nice man. And I'm not very fond of compliments. I'm not very fond of compliments, but, but Justice Owinidoro is a nice man. 
and I call him a friend. I call him a friend because I saw in him capacity to speak for the downtrodden. My ideological identity is struggle. Struggle for the oppressed. My mantra is voice for the voiceless. I thank you, ladies and gentlemen. May I take this opportunity to ask the, his best, the chief, the, the archbishop, to come and address us. But I thought the archbishop was going to give us a vote of thanks. Thank you. A round of applause to the Minister of Internal Affairs. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. May I invite the area bishop who will in turn invite his grace. And thereafter, his grace will invite the chief guest.